Time to present you the English news. Dr. Hamdullah Mohair resumed office as the new National Security Advisor after he was introduced to the staff of the National Security Council by President Mohammad Ashraf Ghani during a ceremony earlier today. Speaking during the ceremony, President Ghani said Afghanistan has important and strategic relations with some of the countries and international institution and the administration of those relations forms a key part of the responsibilities of the National Security Council besides having other responsibilities including the administration of regional and international consensus for security. He thanked Dr. Mohib for his successful services as the Afghan ambassador in a country which has a strategic importance to Afghanistan in all sectors. In his turn, Dr. Mohib thanked President Ghani for his trust and said the assumption of the office's national security advisor is a huge responsibility. The Afghan government reacted to the killing of Aisha's Khrasan Amir during an air strike in his rending at a whole province of Afghanistan. Deputy Presidential Spokesman Shah Hussain Mutazawi in a statement said that the killing of Aisha's Khrasan Amir Abu Sayyid Aragzai demonstrates the Afghan government's resolve in the fight against terrorism. In foreign sources, the National Directorate of Security said the Aisha's Khrasan Amir identified as Saad Arhabi was killed in Khokiani district on Saturday night. The sources for the added that he, also famous as Abu Sayyid Aragzai, was killed along with nine other ISIS group members who were accompanying him. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani met with Russia's National Security Advisor Nikali Petrashev on Tuesday at a presidential palace in Diskasway to jointly combat terrorism. In a statement released by the presidential palace after this meeting, Ghani said that terrorism is not only a threat to Afghanistan but it is a threat to the region and to foreign countries. According to this statement, Ghani said that a joint and serious combat plan is needed for a unified strategy. Ghani said Afghanistan is at the forefront of the fight against insurgency and government forces are pursuing the fight against them. The senator and former presidential candidate John Macken has died at the age of 81 more than a year after he was di di diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor. Macken, who was also famous as the Vietnam War hero, died on Saturday surrounded by his family, according to a short statement released by his office. He was undergoing medical treatment after diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor in July of 2017. Mr. Mackin left Washington in December of last year and on Friday decided to stop the treatment his family announced. Thank you. That was a brief. Good night. Take care.